Hey YouTube, this is Jobin, and this is going to be a fairly brief review of the Spyderco Sharp Maker. Now, I have two reasons for doing this. Uh, one, because I promised I would a while ago and then promptly forgot. And two, because it can serve as a video response for my buddy Gavco, who's doing a rather cool little giveaway right now, and I want to show him some support, and quite honestly, I wouldn't mind having the prize. It's a uh, very nice drop. So, and for that contest, he wants us to show our sharpening system. So here's mine, Spyderco Triangle Sharp Maker. Now, why on earth did they spell, spell triangle like that? I don't know. And if some of you are saying because they're drawing attention to the fact that the sharpening stones have three angles, that's what triangle means. But, poor literacy being cool aside, Let's take a look at what we have in the package. You lift up the cover, and you're confronted with this. Everything packed away pretty neatly. Lift the stones off the top. These are the white fine stones it comes with. And it also comes with some gray medium grit stones. And a pair of brass safety rods. Uh, now the base here has two sets of openings. One for a 40 degree edge, one for a 30 degree edge. Uh, Spyderco from the factory sharpens most of their knives at 30 degrees. And they say um, do your sort of maintenance touch-up sharpening at 40. And every once in a while take it back to 30. Uh, and the way you use this is you pick the side you want and you clip the cover in like that. Then you put in the hand guards and then you take the triangle stones and you slot them into the base. And that leaves you with a system like this, where you can draw the knife blade straight down, alternating sides to sharpen it up. And the way you're supposed to use this is you start, start using it like this on the corners of the medium grit stones. And then after a time, you turn it and go with the flats. And the more surface area and less pressure and stuff uh, takes it sort of... Uh, up a le level in uh, refining the edge and then when you get done with the brown stones you move on to the white ones starting with the corners and then going to the flats to finish off now this is a pretty good system it's Expensive enough that I kind of put off putting it, put off buying it for a little while, but it really works quite well, and it is cheap, actually cheaper than some of the other sharpening systems. And the thing I really love about it actually is its ability to sharpen serrations, which is why this bird crossbill was out here before at the beginning. Um, I don't want this video to go too long. I explained how it works. You could just watch me do it, but also this knife is already sharp. Yeah. Ah, here, but you know, can your serrated knife do that? You know, it's serrated. It tears occasionally, but look at that cut. Or push cut. So if you like, if you never uh, handled a sharp, a truly sharp serrated knife before, they can be kind of awesome. And of course, it does plain edges just fine as well. You can, in a few minutes, uh, take a moderately dull knife and bring it back to hair popping sharp again. So it's it's a good system, and it's very very easy to use. It doesn't have much of a learning curve at all, in my opinion. Um, 
even comes with a video, which is a little cheesy, but it works. It tells you how it works. Very thorough instruction manual, too. So, overall, it's a good system. And uh, the I reviewed my uh, Lansky Turnbox system a while ago. And one shortcoming of that my, I mentioned, despite it being a very good value for the money, is the stones are fairly short, so the length of knife you can sharpen on it easily is basically tops out at medium pocket knife length. But here you have significantly longer stones. I'm not sure exactly how long they are. Oh, here's my ruler. On these you're going to have... Let's see, the stones are 7 inches long. Which is about 50% longer working area than the little Lansky turnbox, I think. I don't have that one with me to check, but... Uh, that's what, about what I think. And as you saw from this, even with a serrated edge knife, you can get something that can push cut paper quite easily with the Spyderco Sharp Maker. So, uh, worth it overall? Yes, I would say so. Alright guys, uh, there's my review. As best I could get it in about six minutes. Um, I'm sure you can look if you want to see more information about uh, there's actually some things about the sharp maker. I mean, it has like other like places where you can like put a stone uh, for sharpening uh, certain other things or other scenarios. But for basically just covering the knife sharpening, highlighting a bit the fact that it does a good job on serrations, uh, which is otherwise a task that I hate. Um, it's it's good. So, guys, I, um, I hope you enjoyed this video somewhat, and again, check out Gabco's channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later, and remember where your knife is.